all of them have ACM still clad on them, despite it being three years since the Grenfell tragedy. We had to install a waking watch because we had to have some sort of interim measure that would spot fire on the outside. The alarm, I think it was only two or three weeks later that the false, that an alarm activated Citygate 1, later proved out to be false. When we went outside, the, the waking watch was just looking there, just not really doing anything, letting cars come in. You're reliant upon one or two guys walking around, looking up at the flat. Sometimes it might be foggy. Um, they might not be able to see anything. Ultimately, it's it's costly, and as you say, I do feel sorry for the guys. They just do their their you know they're just trying to earn a wage themselves over winter. You know, just walking around. Imagine walking around with your friend for seven eight hours as part of your job. The generally security staff as well that haven't necessarily been fully trained. Uh, you know, to do the waking watch role, that then comes down to the responsible person, the property manager, training them to do it. And I do, you know, you see lots of stories and instances and sat around, you know, dealing with the gladiators, we hear all sorts of stories, whether it's, you know, using all the broadband, watching porn, sleeping in the cars, having a cigarette under combustible cladding, etc. You hear all sorts of stories.